Vasanthi Stanley, DMK, Member of Parliament in the Rajya Sabha, D. Raja, CPI MP in the Rajya Sabha, Dr. B. Maitriyan, AIA DMK MP in the Rajya Sabha, Manika Tagore, Congress MP in the Lok Sabha, Smriti Irani, President of the BJP Mahila Morcha and Member of Parliament, Subramaniam Swami, my first question is to you, Mr. Swami. You know, my, simply put, Ms. Dr. Swami, what is the question here? Obviously, we have to be against human rights violations. We have to vote against the Sri Lankan government because the manner in which a 12-year-old boy's bullet-ridden body has been exposed, that this is the kind we've heard about human rights abuses of all kinds. I mean, whatever the geostrategic region reasons that may be, leave that aside. On human rights, do we stand against human rights or for human rights? Dr. Swami. <laughs> That's a typical wife-beating question, and it's uh, wholly inappropriate here. The question is, human rights uh, something which are sacred to a democratic country, but this is not a question about human rights. The resolution that has been drafted is so uh, uh, insipid. The only thing wrong with it is, uh, or worthy of comment, is that it's one-sided. There's no mention of the atrocity, horrendous atrocities conduct, uh, carried out by the LTT for the last 20 years. So I think uh, we need now to move, move forward. The most important question before the Tamils in Sri Lanka is getting devolution of power and a state where they can have local interests pursued. That is the issue on which we sh India should work on and they should bring a substitute resolution so this saying that the Sri Lankan uh, government will be given a time period within which they have to do it. No. And that's uh, so, something so, that they are also so saying, in Sri Lanka to do. So but we, they must do it for now. To, no, no, what's uh, to it, a what's it? Dr. Subramaniam Swami, are you saying that we should be blind to the manner in which a 12 year old boy was killed? What is the 12 year old boy's fault? That he is the son of Prabhakaran? Is that his fault? Ah. <laughs> It's very, t it's very touching that you have so much faith in British television, which is capable of producing all kinds of things about Kashmir and Manipur at, uh, at all times. I don't uh, even know how the man was killed. Prabhakar himself was so cruel that he could easily put the human beings as shield for uh, his people, for his soldiers. So we don't know in what circumstances this sh shooting took place. All we have is a body with a b bullet uh, riddle, Sir, uh, which is, uh, has several bullets in it. I don't think that we can act on these uh, television uh, tapes that we the see. Arguments there are many of them are not worthy of even being considered seriously. Sir, if there has to be a sense of closure, there has to be an independent investigation. If it has nothing to hide, why is the Sri Lankan government not opening itself up to an independent investigation? I want to get the other participants in. I'm going to come back to you, Subramaniam Swami, because I can tell you tonight on this panel, you're a bit of a minority. We're going to come back to you. Well, let me draw in at this point, Mr. D. Raja. Mr. D. Raja, you heard the position there of Subramaniam. He said it proves nothing. We don't believe British television. It can all be concocted. Prabhakaran may have done it himself. I think uh, Dr. Swami should understand what Sri Lankan government has admitted. It is Sri Lankan government has admitted it was a war. 8,000 people were killed in the war. 8,000 people is not a small number. And this 12-year boy, he can, could be the son of Mr. Prabhakaran, but he, he was 12-year boy, young boy. How he was killed in such a horrendous manner, Mr. Swami should understand, it is not only British no, no. channel, other Indian channels, headlines today, uh, yeah, expose the killing fields of Sri Lanka. In fact, Rajapaksha government wanted that war to go as war without witness. And now we have witness, that, we have we evidence. Should, the, the, the United that, Nations uh, Secretary General's panel has said, there is credible evidence against war crimes against uh, uh, war crimes and human rights violations. I, I want so to... So there are two parts. One is war crimes and human rights violence. Human I, rights I violations. Simply, simply want and to the, understand... the other part is political solution to Sri Lankan Tamils. I, I, and I, Mr. Swami is mixing both no, and you, confusing everybody no, and first, misleading first, the whole debate. Now the question is at Geneva, what India is going to do? In fact, my opinion is, 
India has a moral responsibility. India should have taken a proactive role. India should have taken the lead. India should have worked on a resolution. I want to know whether people are taking a position on this. International investigation into war crimes. I, I, I want to know. I want to know. I have a simple question. I want to know from you, Smriti Rani. Since when? Do human rights violations and geostrategic interests, you know, since when have we officially got the two mixed up? We seem to indicate here, as Dr. Subramaniam Swami seems to indicate that because it serves our geostrategic interests on the one side, you know, to be closer to the Sri Lankan government, therefore we should, we should pretend that these human rights violations did not exist. Do you really ag agree with Subramaniam Swami? Do you agree with him, Smriti Rani? I'm not here to... I'm not here to agree or disagree with Dr. Swami. I'm here to articulate the position of the BJP. But he is a member of I the NDA. Any you are a member has, of the NDA as well. Yes, but yes, absolutely. But officially, I'm not designated to speak on the NDA, but on the BJP. No, we expect Hence, that there would be some that, similarity right, of opinion. Citizen, let me just say that any citizen who watches Times now tonight will be repulsed by the fact that a 12-year-old boy was shot. In what circumstances that boy was shot is a matter of investigation. The BJP has always upheld the fact that the rights of Tamilians in Sri Lanka needs to be protected and Tamilians in Sri Lanka so, need to live a life without discrimination and fear of violence. So, what, is, uh, what is a matter of extreme concern for us that a matter of international significance which is coming to vote is, is an issue on which the Indian government has failed to bring about a consensus. No, no, forget the Indian Today, government. I want to know your position. I want to know your position. I want to, you're, you're the principal opposition party. Tell me where you stand today. There are human rights violations. Oh, no. People have been killed on the beaches. People have been killed. Not on the trenches, but in villages, people have been killed. Young children have been killed the out there. Opposition. What is your position? Uh, as a member of the principal opposition party, in no way whatsoever can we support human rights violation in any in any part of the world. Should but let we me say this: that as a responsible, as a or not, let me complete. As a responsible member of the opposition, let me also say that matters of foreign policy are not an opportunities to score political points. I think that what India needs I think to you're do dodging is a the very question. decisive stand. I think you're dodging I'm the question. I am not dodging the question. I am not dodging the question at all. I have stated that should we should we vote against Sri Lanka if no required? Way whatsoever, should we vote against Sri Lanka if required? We in no way whatsoever would support human rights violations. No, no. I, should we vote against Sri Lanka or so not? You see, I don't understand this. the ambiguity here. Should we vote against Sri Lanka or not? I am stating my. I am not being ambiguous. I am being extremely responsible by saying that India's foreign policy is not a matter of scoring political points. It's but a matter where political consensus uh, needs to, to be. I am needs to be brought about by the. No, no. I I don't know if we are getting a clarity that is here. running the country. No, no. What? I, no, no. There's absolute clarity. This resolution or not is not an uh, afterthought or not something that came into being this today, morning. The question is, why didn't the government of India, knowing that such a resolution is coming to vote, even even bring its own principal allies Sm into confidence? Sm Smriti, Smriti you know, I know that the BJP loves the it. The BJP loves it. The BJP loves it. I can no, understand. No, I can I can or understand no, you. you nobody can take. You are enjoying the no no. You are enjoying no, the trouble between the DMK and the Congress. I am asking you to articulate road. your position tonight. Let me get in a four. I'm going I to come back to articulating you. my position. No, should we vote? I'm articulating my position. No, nobody no. can be. You what is your position? Reveal your position, Central. Smriti. Reveal your position. For or against my Sri Lanka on this very issue? Very simple or not? My position as a principal opposition and my responsibility is to respond to the stand of the government. The government has said today in, on the floor of the house that it will make the statement tomorrow morning. Dr. After Matriad. the government makes its stand clear, I am not ducking, I am being extremely you're direct. Ducking. Like I said, I cannot use this opportunity to score political points. So, no, you're, no I think you're ducking. Somebody wishes me to. I think you're ducking. I, 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 I have great all. respect I for you, Smriti, but I think you're ducking. Very, I don't know why I, you're ducking. I have. I, do, I, I, not, I don't know why you're I'm ducking. Not ducking the, I'm not ducking the an answer at all, Arnab. We, like I we, said, nobody can seek solace in the death of a 12-year-old. No, but at the same time, as a responsible opposition member, one needs to know the stand that the Indian government will take. Well, one needs to know why the government no, did no, not no, no, take no, no, its no, own no, allies no. and opposition parties into confidence. This is exactly like the Lokpal issue. Why the this is exactly like the Lokpal no, issue. No, 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 till, the, till, the, till the very end, you said, I want to know what is the position taken by the government. What is your position? Dr. Maitri, and let me draw you in, please. Our Do position Dr. is Maitri very clear. We are in no way supportive of human rights violations. In Neither is anyone on this panel. This world. Neither is anyone on this. Nobody supports human rights violations. Less than 48 hours from now, we will have to take a position in the United Nations. 
Now, we can either take a position for human rights violations or against human Our rights party. violations. It's come down to that. Dr. Maitreyan, what should we do? Our party has been very... Our party has been very clear. My party is a General Secretary, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister, Dr. Porachi Telivi has made it very categorical that India should support the US-based resolution in UN, security, UN Human Rights Council and we should strongly condemn Sri Lanka. Now we are talking about human rights violations. It is not some human rights violation which is happening in Angola or uh, some other uh, Tanzania and other places. It is happening in a place where the people affected are our umbilical cord brothers and sisters. And see the war crime, it is not about only killing one 12 year old boy. More than 40,000 uh, Tamils were butchered, they were killed in a span of uh, two or three days during the final phases of the war. So Sri Lanka cannot escape from the war crimes. And from 2009, we are now in 2012. Three years, the government of India should have taken initiative, should have taken proactive measures to no, 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 pressure the Sri Lankan government Dr. to Maitreyan. take necessary actions about these war excesses. They have failed miserably to do so. No, no, but Dr. Maitreyan, here's, uh, let's get all points of view. Dr. Maitreyan, let me go into, let, let me go across to Ms. Stanley. Ms. Stanley, thank you very much. What is your position? You know, Subramaniam Swami says that the LTT is a terrorist organization, right? Responsible for the killings of more than 2,000, 3,000 civilians in Sri Lanka, not to forget an Indian Prime Minister, can we overlook that? Should that not be part of the debate? And will supporting the resolution against, the LT, against Sri Lanka amount to supporting the LTT? Will it amount to supporting the LTT at the United Nations? How long, how long Arthur, will no you... Today. One minute, let her, let her reply. Let her, yeah. Go on. Yes. Ms. Stanley, continue please. Yeah, continue. Yes. How long will you dis will he be distracting the main issue by telling the name of LTTs? Almost uh, the whole Tamil people are being eradicated. There is genocide over there in Sri Lanka. Now, it is not the question of LTTE or the Sri Lankan government who did the mistake. Okay. Maybe it is LTTE also as per the LLRS report or whatever. Now, the question is... The U.S. has brought a resolution against the Sri Lankan government for human rights violation and DMK is standing for the issue that that resolution brought by the U.S. has to be supported by the Indian government. That's all. No, no, but, but one second. One sec. You, you, want, you want India to vote against Sri Lanka? U.S. supported resolution? Let me ask you, Mr. Stanley, very pointed question here. To you and Dr. Maitreyan, yes. please answer me. To you and Dr. Maitreyan and Mr. D. Yes. Raja. You've taken three clear positions. Before yes. I come, before I go across to Manika Tagore of the Congress Party. Who is America? Who is President Obama? What is the moral standing of the United States of America? A country that has committed the worst human rights violations in Guantanamo Bay, in Abu Ghraib. This is again. Are again we supporting American hypocrisy? Let, let the Americans talk about this Guantanamo Bay first. Again, I tell you, again yeah. you are distracting the issue. Why? The India should have done this, and somebody is doing it. <laughs> no, no, aren't Before we? Before the United uh, UN HRC. No, I, I am, I am simply. I am and Norway si is supporting it. Who was very much there between the LTT and Arnav. the Sri Lankan government? So on a daily basis. And France is also supporting. Arnav. No, no, I'm. Are we falling prey to the Western uh, why, why world's not US ploy? Bring it? Why not US bring it? Just because maybe they might have committed some mistakes. But that doesn't mean that they cannot bring this resolution. No, no. How do I know? How do I know that the Americans are not using the cover of human rights Arnav. violations to interfere in the sovereignty of a, of a third world nation? That's the question tonight. This is a Arnav. deliberate attempt at interfering with the sovereignty of a third world nation. Arnav. Dr. Maitreya and Mr. Raj, you'll have to concede Arnav. that. Arnav. Once again, you are distracting from the main point. How? Arnav, Arnav. you want me to answer? How, how, Anyone why, can answer. Why, how is it that we are we are not we, no, we are not telling the Sri Lankan government that they have to do you this? Know, and that. I, watch it, watch it, Mr. Raja, Mr. Raja first. Mr. Raja the first. The has already am, been committed by the Sri Lankan government. I have made my position on the same time clear. Interfering in the sovereignty of the government. It is not that India should follow United Nations. India should follow United Nations. It is United Nations which has suggested there should be an impartial international investigation into war crimes and human rights violations. Uh, India is the immediate neighbor. Sir. And sir, India knows fully well 
what has happened in sir, sri lanka coming from a communist it is very Our it India is a moral responsibility so coming so from india a, should have taken a Arnav. lead so coming from this a communist it's very interesting that you're backing an american move as far as ltt is concerned where is ltt the sri lankan government declared it has won the war against ltt and there is no ltt mr swami should understand let mr swami and you speak. also should uh, explain this to the people Arnav. of this country this and now it is question subramaniam swami the, Yaksas committed by Sri Lankan army. One minute, 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 one minute. Subramaniam Swami will respond. Subramaniam Swami will respond. Dr. Maitreyan of the AIBMK. One minute, one minute. Dr. Dr. Maitreyan will come. I'll come to you, but I want to get in our Congress participant tonight. Manika Tagore, please tell me, Mr. Tagore, why this indecision, sir? Why this confusion? You're seeing a human rights violation being committed right before your eyes. Tamils have been tortured, killed. It's all right. You win a strategic war. Why is your government so unsure about what to do? No, we are not unsure. We are. I am not speaking for the government. I am speaking for the Tamil Nadu Congress first. One, we need to take India's security concerns and India's interests and the 30 lakh Tamils who lives still lives in Sri Lanka. Oh, we need to take a line which is which should play, which should be for India's security as well as the. 30 lakh Sri Lankan Tamils. I am repeating, 30 lakh no, why Sri Lankan so? Tamils lives in why do Tamils. You say so? Why are you worried for in their security? Sri Lanka. Why are you worried about them? What, what is the concern? Can you elaborate? No, we, we need to, whatever decision we are going to take, it should take into these two factors into consideration. Then only we, we can have a clear cut decision. And one thing is very clear that. The draft, whatever we are speaking about, it, the U.S. sponsor, whatever being, the draft has not, Indian government has not got that draft till of now. Then the draft comes, then no, you're government avoiding. of India is going to I come out with a tomorrow. I think you're avoiding a position. No, I'm not avoiding. I think again I, you're I'm, avoiding, I'm ducking avoiding. the question. I don't know. No, 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 not at all. I'm very clear. No, no. I'm saying that the priorities are two. One is India's interest and two is... Sri Lankan Sir, Tamils asking, who are living there in Sri Lanka. So I am. I what should we vote against against Sri Lanka or for Sri Lanka? Please tell me that. Should we support let this the resolution come. or not? Let the. Uh, I don't know. We have to be very clear that the draft is not been in, the, in anybody's hands. Sir, you're you're still you're avoiding the not, question. Uh, Sir, you're avoiding the question. No. You know what it's about. I'm not avoiding. I'm clear. India I I'm very clear. I'm very clear in Sri Lanka. One second, one second. Now, what there blame? is no question of India security involved. Arnav. No, one second, one second. Why are, we mixing up? Why, like are, why are we mixing up human rights violations with geostrategic interests? I want someone to clearly tell me tonight. This is our, if, if we vote with the, with, with, uh, uh, for this resolution, the Sri Lankans won't like us. China will enter Sri Lanka. It will back Sri Lanka. If India votes against Sri Lanka, the, uh, Sri Lanka will get closer to China, increasing China's geopolitical influence in the region. Why are we avoiding that question? That is the real issue, isn't it? Dr. Maitreyan, is Whom that the real issue or not? This is the issue. Sri Lanka is Arnav, using the geopolitical equation of, uh, in order to America, blackmail India. India should have and taken India the uh, proactive step. In fact, it, we need to be responsible people first. In fact, Tamil Nadu Assembly passed a unanimous resolution that India should initiate action to take the matter to the UN about the war crimes in Sri Lanka and uh, see that uh, the guilty are punished and uh, also work with the other nations to see that an economic embargo is brought on Sri Lanka till Tamils are given their just position. We have passed a unanimous resolution in the assembly as early as June uh, 2011. But the Indian government did not do anything. When we, our government has not done anything, at least US has done That's something. True. It may be a watered uh, resolution, so, but at least there is something. So, we but, uh, need uh, but sir, government to be accountable for the war. Exercise. So why don't why don't you why don't we ask the Americans first? Where are the civilian casualties the maximum? Civilian casualties in Afghanistan are the highest since the invasion, totaling twelve thousand seven hundred and ninety three no, people said, killed in the past six years. Can I, can, can so I can talk, interview? We are talking about can I, can who, can who are the Americans to lecture us? Can I, can who are the Americans to lecture? No, one second, well, Mr. Mr. Andy, can answer. Can who are the Americans to? When, when our own Dr. Manmohan Singh failed. Mr. Anal? Our own Dr. Manmohan Singh has failed to do his duty. Uh, sir, the question is, who are the Americans to preach human Don't rights? Don't call anybody fail, uh, Maitreyan. One sec. One sec. Whatever, uh, whatever resolution you want to uh, pass in an assembly, 
you had uh, you had asked for a resol resolution you had passed the resolution pardoning those people who had uh, killed rajiv you gandhi your congress mla is also voted for that you were congress yeah. mla is voted for that resolution right. not right. congress mla has not voted for it See. don't don't tell a lie <laughs> don't tell a lie please, that please, Congress MLA has voted for. See the assembly record. See, see, let us see the record. You also see the record. I, I simply want to. I, I want to know whether Subramaniam Swami has been listening or first be of all. Two be questions. responsible Indian first. Don't play for for the game of. Don't uh, play politics on the dead bodies. Why should we mix up human rights violations with geostrategic interests? <laughs> Subramaniam Swami, your response. Why should we mix these two up? I see no link. Well, we are not we are not university professors uh, to worry about uh, the dimensions of human rights. I think we are a government. We are now talking about what government uh, stand should be, and that is a multi-dimensional decision. And we are Indians first, and Tamils second. That is what these DMK and ADMK people should understand. They pass ridiculous resolutions in their assembly saying for Tamil sentiment, the killers of Rajiv Gandhi should be set free. I've never seen a more idiotic resolution passed in any assembly anywhere in the world. So that sentiment must first uh, be overriding. We are Indians first. What is our interest? This, uh, this, uh, this issue is as old as Prabhakaran, uh, Prabhakaran's death. The uh, human rights uh, excesses took place in 2009. Prabhakaran died in 2009. Now they're saying the LTT should be forgotten. Well, then uh, forget these uh, human rights excesses also and go in for what the Tamils should oh. get now. Should get a separate state within the unified Sri Lanka and they should get their rights. Should put, let us put pressure on that. No, no, but the BJP and the uh, NDA no. and you, the, Dr. Subramaniam Swami... The government did not do no. it for the last three years. No, no, one second. Uh, no. One second. I have a question for Subramaniam Swami and Smriti Irani. Smriti Irani, to you first, the BJP has been against all yes. terrorist organizations. And if I remember correctly, the stated position of Dr. Subramaniam Swami, he's had strong Mr. positions against Mr. terror organizations. I want to say something. No, one second. One second. Mr. My... Arnold, I want to say something. Okay, before the question comes in, yeah, go ahead. Ms. Stanley is coming into the debate. Ms. Stanley, go ahead. Yes. See, uh, one, uh, listening to Dr. Subramaniam Swami uh, about uh, uh, the unanimous decision of the uh, taken in the assembly of uh, Tamil Nadu government and uh, saying that it is idiotic and all that, I can never accept it. Okay. He, he, the, the, this is not only uh, first Indian and then Tamilian, all these things, we do not want uh, uh, him to say all these things now. Uh, the, 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 we want the Indian <laughs> government you... to... You are a separate Support party. the U.S. resolution which has been pa pa brought before the U.N. Human Rights Council. That's all. That is the question today that we raised. Do you accept that you are Indian first? Yes, why not? Arnab? No, no. Question. Why not? Are, are we not Indians because we are, we, we, we are, we are supporting our, we are positively. fighting for the, our uh, t -t -t Tamil But you should be Indian first. Indian about resolution and not about One Indian minute. and Miss Stanley, Miss Stanley, respond. Miss Stanley, respond. Yes, what is this? No, but question here is, I have a question for Miss, the question which comes from our viewers. One of our viewers asks, what, yes? what if tomorrow America wakes up and President Obama doesn't like India huh? anymore? And he said, let's needle them a little bit. Uh. So we bring in a resolution on human rights violations in Kashmir. Right? What will we do then? Is the question I have <laughs> See, don't, for our panelists. Don't, 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 don't go for all these uh, uh, imaginations and all that. No. Okay. If, that if, if, um, even if, one minute, one minute. Even if a problem no, comes if, about if America, America, if America wants to use it human is, rights there violations. There is no genocide happening over there. I am asking you tonight, it's quite clear tonight. America is using the bogey of human rights violations. I am not saying what has not happened in Sri Lanka. But America selectively uses human rights violations to push for its own geostrategic interests. Perhaps otherwise they would have first acted against uh, violations of the American forces in Afghanistan. Don't, 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 don't deviate the problem. Don't deviate the problem. No. This Indian government, we expected that the Indian government <laughs> should have brought such a resolution before the UN. Now that uh, it is a welcome measure that the no. US has brought it and uh, the countries like Norway and France are also supporting it. Our leader has categorically said that Smriti Rani. the Indian government has to support this move by the U.S. No, I find, I, I find, I find everyone's having you know, confused uh, no. positions on this. Uh, to Smriti Rani, uh, my uh, question uh, is, you, you to, Smriti, to Smriti Rani, to Smriti Rani, to Smriti Rani, the BJP. You are confusing the questions to everybody. One, one minute, one minute, ma'am. To Smriti Rani, my question is. very clear in this 
Yes, ma'am. The, for the first time, for the first time in the parliament, they saw that both AADMK, DMK, the comrades, all of us from Tamil Nadu, we stood together on this issue. Hundred percent. And the, the BJP, the leaders from the BJP, by Mr. Aluwalia ji, and then Vankai Nadu, they were also supporting our uh, issue. I take your point, and but it but was my a unanimous decision. And which is even even the Tamil Nadu Congress. Wait, wait. Congress uh, uh, leader, Mr. Yana Desikan, also said that the government should, as a Tamilian, I when also say that. Miss Miss Stanley, uh, with all respect. Miss Miss Stanley, with all respect. He also said in the right. Miss Stanley, Miss Miss Stanley. Resolution. Miss Stanley, with all respect, when the genocide was happening, your party wrote letters to the Prime Minister, and that's it. They just wrote letters to the Prime Minister. And that's it. Now you are now you are coming to the fore. The UPA is having problems. You are coming to the fore. You are joining. You are putting the pressure because the Congress party looks a little weaker. My question to the BJP is: You've been against all terrorist organizations, right? The BJP stand on the role of the United Nations in Kashmir is very well known, Smriti Rani. Do you find yourself in a bind here? Because tomorrow your potential allies like the AIDMK will not accept a position. They will. AIDMK is watching you. Jayalalita is watching you. If if Jayalalita finds today that on this you take a position different from hers, she will not be able to tie up with you tomorrow. She will not tie up with you. That's why your hands are tied. Smriti Rani is my reading wrong. No, no. National issues of national importance or not can never fall victim to political pressures. Let me just answer the question that has been posed by your viewer, for which you were seeking an answer from the panelist. that what if somebody tries to move a resolution against india on the subject of kashmir if you remember in 1992 pakistan had the ill intention of moving such a resolution against india where pv narsimha rao actually gave atul bihari vajpayee the responsibility of leading the indian delegation and defeating the ill intentions of pakistan that's why i'm coming back to the point that i made at the beginning of this debate that why is it that the government of india did not bring about political consensus on an issue of such international significance Why hasn't the BJP Why made it its position it's clear on the resolution instead of waiting for the we, government to spell out its stand? Are you only using this to score political brownie not, points not against the Congress all. Party? If, as a if as a principal and responsible opposition member, I had stated a very shrill position, then the same media would have hung me by the neck by saying that I'm not being responsible enough to at least hear what the government has to say on the issue. The government on the floor of the house today has assured all political organisations that it will come out with its definite. Stand tomorrow morning, and it's only after the government clarifies its stand that I can react to it. Well, I, I, I think again you're avoiding. I think you're, you're avoiding today, and I find it very interesting. The two national parties are avoiding. They are hedging. They are not giving me a clear answer tonight. Well, Not at all. I think I think Miss Stanley was extremely articulate in the fact that BJP is not avoiding its responsibility. I in think fact, you're giving each other compliments. Time and again stated that let the government of India come out with its stated position. Do you find this? Position on I'm this asking Doctor Resolution. Doctor Maitreyan, do you find the position of the national parties clear and unambiguous? What is your view? Do you find the position as clear as it could be? See, it, no. See. It, it is not for me to judge the position of other parties. As far I can only talk for my party. My party is very clear. In government of India, should support the resolution which has been brought in the UN, and they should strongly condemn Sri Lanka. If others support our viewpoint, we welcome them. No, but but uh, in fact, the Prime Minister uh, seems to have written a letter to our Honourable Chief Minister. That letter again is so evasive, wishy-washy. It be beats around the bush. It does not make any definitive commitment about the government's viewpoint on this. Subramaniam Swami, once again to you tonight. You've heard the points of view on different sides. Um, Now here's yes, a choice. The choice is. Yes. The the choice is that you turn a blind eye to human rights violations to to gain a geostrategic brownie point. That's your argument, right? Ignore the fact that a 12-year-old boy may have been killed. Ignore no. the thousands of people killed on the beaches, but ensure that you get a vice-like geostrategic grip on Sri Lanka by helping them at this moment, regardless of the moral dilemma that the government of India finds itself in. Well, I won't uh, go on uh, about this 12-year-old boy. They LTP Why? killed a large number of Tamil and uh, no. Sinhalese uh, 12-year-old boys and six-year-old no, no, boys. No, no, so, so, no, no. What's it? Uh, uh, set off no, explosions no, in uh, population centers. Uh, so let's not you, go into that. No, no. What's it? Let's not go one into second. that. Are you saying? But are you saying? I, I, I are you say, saying one I, killing I, justifies on another? On the fundamental question. 
I, are you saying one on killing justifies another? On the fundamental question that you have uh, posed, let me tell you, let me tell you, the government of India can play, uh, can, uh, uh, government of India can play a role if it brings a substitute resolution and ensures that a speedy devolution of power takes place. That is where it should mobilize sir, the strength of sir. the United States and uh, China and Israel and these countries which have influence in, inside no, I uh, want, Sri Lanka. I want, a, I want other panelists to respond. See what Subramaniam Swami says, Vasanti, Vasanti Stanley, Dr. Maitriyan, Manika Tagore and D. Raj, I want you to respond to that one point. Subramaniam Swami says, don't keep talking about the killing of a 12-year-old boy. Don't keep mentioning that Prabhakaran's boy, son may have been killed because many 12-year-old children were killed mercilessly by the LTT as well. I want our other panelists to respond to that. Dr. Maitrian, would you like to respond first? I have already answered, Mr. Arnold. Dr. Maitrian. How long fact, will, he, will he go on with the main saying, issue? Government of India should, bring a, should have brought a resolution in the UN about the war crimes to see that Sri Lanka, is a, the war crimes are investigated by an independent international body. Government of India has failed to do so. Even now they can do that. Let them bring a resolution condemning Sri Lanka, institute an independent investigation, demand the UN to do that. No, what if, what if, what, the government of India what, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if Chi so, Chi Sri Lanka gets upset and China takes advantage of that? China backs Sri Lanka. See, India uh, votes no, against no, Sri Lanka. People have been killed in two days. No, no. What if it pushes? What if it pushes Sri Lanka closer to China, including increasing China's geostrategic presence in the re region? See, Arnab, should we? You, cannot, you, cannot, you yes. cannot evade this issue by this rhetoric argument that if you do something, China, Sri Lanka will push towards Mr. China. Mr. Raja, if, if it comes to that, in the government of India should face that also face and come that. out victorious. Yeah, face the, face it, regardless of the geostrategic may, consequences. May, may, Mr. May I interrupt Mr. here? Swami. Yeah. May, may I interrupt here? Yeah. Go on. Yeah, I would like to tell you that this re this resolution will be defeated because the composition of the UN uh, Human Rights Commission is such that the countries against this resolution are more numerous than the countries who might listen to the United States and vote with the resolution. But that, regardless of that, it's about our position, Mr. Swami. Our position. We, we can't talk about whether it be defeated or lost. What is our position? I agree. My, our, our posi uh, I, uh, my position is very clear that uh, this resolution is insipid. It calls upon the Sri Lankan government to act on the uh, reconciliation report. And then it says that it should be a credible investigation. These are all uh, uh, banalities. What is required is that uh, if it had uh, uh, also included the LTT atrocities, it would have been an no, even is completely handed true. resolution. Wasn't, then there were no difficulty wasn't, in passing this resolution. No, wasn't the investigation... But as of now, this resolution will produce nothing. Sir, was, where is the sense of accountability? Wasn't the investigation of the Sri Lankan government a total eyewash? It was a total eyewash. Why do you say the resolution is, is incomplete and insipid? This resolution... This, res, this, this resolution... This resolution will not produce accountability. You read the resolution. It so, is so banal, it has no teeth in it. It's just asking the Sri Lankans, we request the Sri Lankan government to do this. We request the Sri Lankan to do that. And do you think that Mr. the Sri Raja, Lankan government is going to listen to your request? Mr. Raja, Subramaniam Swami says this resolution will prove nothing. In other words, he's asking you, end your you know, stop asking the Indian government to support this resolution. In any way, this resolution is going to have a 0% result. So stop, are you just making it a political but, issue, Mr. But, but, Raja? No, no, no. First of all, Dr. Swami uh, should understand he is also a human being. We are Indians, but we are also human beings. Uh, what uh, happened in Sri Lanka was nothing but massacre and yes. genocide of Tamils, uh, war crimes, uh, abuse of human rights. And India is part of United Nations. And it is United Nations which has said there is credible well, evidence on the war crimes and human rights. Uh, violations Ma and India wants to be permanent Ma member of United Ma Nations Energy Security says. Council. If that is the ambition, India should take a moral position. If India would have taken a moral position, Ma China would have backed India or Russia would have backed India.
How do you know that? If he has not me... taken such a moral position... How do you know they would have backed us? China's now, entire China game is to sabotage us in India. Sri Lanka. Using the geopolitical Sir, argument... China's... En... No, 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 no. Subramaniam Swami, India's quick response. moral authority... Subramaniam Swami is responding. ...against the United States of America. Mr. Swami is responding. How do you know? I challenge India to move a resolution... China against would... America. Alre for alre alre already Russia, China, Saudi Arabia, China, Saudi Arabia, all these America. countries have gone record India. saying they will not accept this I'm resolution. Asking. This Indian resolution government is doomed. To move a resolution it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a sterile exercise for us, and on top of that, we'll lose our friends for nothing. In in, in instead of it, please put pressure on Sri Lanka to devolve the power in the constitution. How That's the only the worthwhile thing you can do for the Tamils. That is my and this point. is How not a Tamil problem. This is the overseas is Tamils going around with LTT, uh, remaining Swami, LTT money and uh, uh, doing all this propaganda. Sir, one second. Subramaniam Swami, how can you always, how can you say that anyone who is a human rights supporter is a LTT supporter? How is, how is, how is anyone who is a human rights supporter becoming an LTT well, supporter? Well, it's not a human. They are not a... All, all, all human rights supporters are even-handed. All you... Yo, they don't talk about what LTT. They LTT never speak now? about the LTT. Uh, Sri Lankan government has and, declared and it has me tell you war against LTT. That IPKF. There is no LTT. And Sri Lankan government... IPKF was India. also accused of what doing all this. That now today the Sri Lanka... Uh, it was a war against the entire Tamil population. Well, I, Thousands I, of people were killed. Nonsense. What is Mr. Swami speaking? Well, well, one minute, one minute, gentlemen. Tempers, tempers are frayed here. I think we have to make a very smart and intelligent choice. The question again to the Congress and the BJP tonight is, see the nature of the debate. See the points of view. Both the Congress and the BJP will have to take a position very, very quickly on this debate. They cannot look away. They cannot say this is just a problem that interests the Tamil Nadu parties. As a country, we have to take a position. And I think Manika Tagore and Smriti Irani, you have to come and take a clear right. position. Vote against the resolution or for the resolution. Don't pass the no, buck to each other. No, we are not passing the buck. We yeah. are being very clear, Anurav. We are very... They told in the, from the beginning itself that India's interest and the 30 lakh Tamils who lives in Sri Lanka's interest, India should, uh, India's stand should be there. Vote for and or against? Can't, for or we against? Can't, we are, we are Vote for or against the resolution? Uh, let the draft come. Let the draft come. Without let the draft, the draft come. coming, how, how, you, how you can ask the government to take the a draft? Stand? The the and we, feel, we stand, for, we, we stand for India and for Sri Lankan Tamils. No, no, I think I as hundred percent. But yes, I I think you I think again you're ducking. So, so, so you know the content of the draft. You know what it's going to be about. It's about condemning human rights violations in Sri Lanka. Now you want to a vowel no, here and there, an alphabet no, here and there won't no. make a difference. Take a position, sir. No. No, we we are There's very no clear that we are we are for the Tamils of Sri Lanka. There's only a request to have a, a credible investigation. That's all. Yeah. So I don't understand why why the BJP cannot come on record and take a position on that. If there is a request for the Sri Lankan government to have a credible investigation into human rights violations, once again, Smriti Rani, what's your position? Will you pass this one? Let me say this. This is a government which did not take a strong position against no. Sri Lanka when Tamil fishermen were killed. Now, we are waiting to see the response and the stand of the government which is so leading such a fractured What coalition. is your position? We want the government to have a very decisive stand and on the basis what is your of the decisive position declared by the government, we will, our position is as simple as this. We do not support in any way whatsoever human rights That's violations. That's a generic answer. Give me a specific in answer in the context the of this time, resolution. No, I'm being extremely specific or not. At the same time, as a no. responsible member of the opposition, we are waiting for the government to build Why do you wait for the government? On such a no, no, one second, one second, one second. Are because you saying, why do you have to wait for the, the government? Because, or not, because it's the government of India that represents India and the UN, not no, no, one the BJP. Second. Is your position on China, on America, yes, on Afghanistan? Responsibility. Is, is the BJP's position my, on everything determined by the interest, position of the government? My Does the BJP have no position of its own? We two can't talk together. My no, no. principal interest is India's interest and nothing else. So what in your what view... What the government of India does in the interest of the nation is yet to be seen, ascertained. And on the basis of the government stand, the BJP will definitely come out and give you your, your reaction. Well, 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 well. I, 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 on, on FDI and retail, your, is your but position decided by the government's position? 
is, 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 I, you know, you, you're, you're completely stand, avoiding the issue so clearly is tonight. My position is extremely, no, my, my stand and my position is absolutely clear tonight. I, I, th I think Manika Tagore wanted to respond to you. Yes, very quickly, very quickly, Manika Tagore. BJP says you take a position, then we'll tell you our position. I mean, this ping pong game. No, no, no. We are, we are very clear. Our position is very clear. Today, Tamil Nadu Congress MPs <laughs> met Honorable Prime Minister and we told to him thing that we, we have to stand by the Sri Lankan Tamils and we have to, we have to be with them only. And yeah. uh, the Prime Minister told thing that he understands the feeling of the, the Tamil, Tamil, uh, Tamil MPs. The Tamil and <laughs> okay, okay, gentlemen. Gentlemen, we wait, wait for the... that is your position, Mr. Tagore, you should have come out with it today when every principal party in the Rajya Sabha was asking for your reaction. This issue is no longer limited to Tamil Nadu. It's a national issue. This debate will continue. Will the government of India take a clear position? Will backdrop, background briefings, off-the-record briefings become on-the-record briefings? We are waiting to see what the government does tomorrow. We want an on-the-record briefing, Tomorrow. an official comment from the government, and maybe then Smriti Rani will give us an official comment of the BJP. Thank you very much for joining me on that important debate tonight. Thank you Thank very you. much.